Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mac Break Dev. I'm here again with Sal Segoin. Hey. Hello. And, uh, and we are talking more about how to get content onto the, woo-hoo, our favorite little device. Yes. Right we love it. We love it, and we want to put the stuff that we make on this. And uh, so as we, we started, we did something simple before, and now we're going to start getting it a little bit more graphic. Yes. All right. So we introduced the concept of a web app. Right. Being this lightweight bundle containing basic HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript, it automatically created us a single page mm-hmm. with some extra media. We had an image and an audio file. So now we're going to look at an example from padalicious.com mm-hmm. where you're creating a bundle that contains uh, images with maybe an audio background audio file, a photo carousel, notice some captioning there, and also having the ability to go full screen. Of course, all this would be using a finger instead of the, the mouse cursor here. Right. But we're going to look at this example of how do we create a photo web app for the iPad. Fantastic. Okay? So we'll take a look at that. Oh, so here on my desktop, I have a folder containing some image files, an audio file, and a text file. If I want to add a story, I'd be using this text so file. So we're not using Word or Pages or, or Keynote. We just have a pile of data. Just a pile of stuff. Okay. And the whole idea behind automation, using Mac OS X automation to get generate content for the iPad mm-hmm. is that you don't have to go through a, a long process to be able to get content. The automation tools can do all the heavy lifting for you. They'll right. do the scaling of the images, the transcoding of the audio file. Mm-hmm. They'll bundle it together. They'll write all the code. They'll upload it to the server. Really what you should be doing as a student or as a teacher or as somebody that wants to share content, you should be focusing on what it is you're creating. And, and drinking coffee while and drinking the little coffee. Mac men. Okay, back to work. <laughs> So you'll notice that uh, I have an image selected here, and I'd like to create a, use one of the templates that has the image caption being presented in the layout. Mm-hmm. The image caption is actually part of the image file. If you get the information window mm-hmm. for it, you can see it's embedded in the image and, using and that's IPTC tags. Right. So that could be done in Aperture or in iPhoto or in you know a lot of different things, or it can be done directly in the Get Info. Right. Uh, no, you can't do it in the Get okay. Info, but so, there are automation tools. tools that we're going to show you later on where you can you select can images those. and caption them right in the Finder. Perfect. Or if you're in a program like Aperture, you can do it within there as right. well. Okay. So we're going to use that embedded caption in this process. So I have an audio file and some images I want to convert into this like photo carousel, mm-hmm. slideshow kind of thing. So all I have to do is select the images that I want to include in my project here. I'll go over to my action menu and I'll choose uh, create uh, iPad photo web app. And you can see that it brings up this interface. I'm going to zoom. Yep. And uh, you can choose what your cover file is going to be. I'll just use the first file that comes through. Mm -hmm. Do we want to include some background audio? Okay, I'll just drag my audio file in here and use that. And then I can choose my templates. Do, am I going to use a story for my cover? No, I'll just use the plain one. For my photo carousel, I want the one that has the caption. Okay. And then for my title, I want to use, let's use something fun, Party 72. Let's make it yellow and add some letter space to it. The byline will just leave Helvetica, make it uh, like 24. Uh, the captions will just leave it at 14 like that. The title will be Tropical Fish, like this. It's part of my uh, project called Animal Kingdom that I'm working on for my class assignment. Uh, the author, since I don't have a story, I'm not going to use an author, but for the photographer, I'll use Herman Melville. And a copyright, we'll give it uh, copyright uh, 2010, uh, iStock Photo. I love iStock Photo. They're great. And description is uh, pretty fishes. So that's a metadata tag mm-hmm. that'll be searchable. I'll just click continue. And zoom out while it does its job. You'll see it created a bundle on the desktop, and then it opens up the uh, the uh, finished project for me in in Safari. And it's in Safari. So again, yes. like what we talked about before, this is not 
a standalone app the way people think about them. You don't have to submit it to Apple. Right. You don't have to wait for two weeks for it to get approved uh, or argue with Apple about whether it should get approved or think about any of those things. All it is is a, it's HTML bundle that is opening in Safari. Yes, right. So yes. I'm just saying. That, that, that it's very is, lightweight. It's lightweight. It's easy. It, you don't have to, you know, the idea of creating an app. Apps are great. They're oh, a great th way to a, deliver functionality, and, and they're fun to use, and they really help our lives. But this is something about sharing content. As exactly. a student, as a, as a lay person, I just want to share some ideas and some photos in this case. Exactly. So this is a lightweight well, way and, to do and that. And especially if, if what you're delivering is content. Right. It, it, you know, if you're not delivering, you know, you're not trying to build some crazy app and you're not, you know, uh, but you're de delivering that content and you want to do it today. Yeah. And you want to be able to change it. Yes. You know, all of that stuff is you don't have to go through that process. No. And, and Apple, you know, that, that, that's I think something that we, we hear often is that we're told, you know, you can, uh, you know, there are two development pathways and this is a very viable one. Yes. I think a lot of people thought, oh, I can't get into the app store. Well, this right. is... This is great. Oh, yeah, totally. And you can see I have my background audio with the, the bubbly things going. Right. And uh, there's the uh, carousel. You can that. see the captions there. And if you click this, it'll go full screen, right? Right. And uh, you can go back here or go that's back fantastic. to the top. And, and all that's just built in. That's just automatically. That's it's all part of this bundle that we have here on our desktop. This right. is the bundle that was created. And you can see that it's all uh, contains HTML files and CSS right. and JavaScript. And again, and, all you have to do here, we're not going to go through the, the whole process right, again, but all re you can do. Rename this folder to whatever we like, then select it and run the service that says uh, copy to my mobile me sites folder right. and put in your information. It creates the email, uploads it for you automatically. Then you share the email with your friends and uh, they get the email too. They all click the link in the email and then instantly you're able to just go in there and take a look at it. And here we have an example of that, that. idea. You know, you have your bubbly sounds. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, there's the photo carousel. Right. You Fantastic. do yourself, see, like that. You touch that, and then you touch that, and you touch that. that. And uh, for this particular one, I even added a little video. I went back in later on because it was editable, and I added the ability to have some video with right. it as well. So now you can play video, and of course, it, on the it's iPad, kind of it's all that's anything goes full screen. It's just all built in. Right. And you go back here, so without a line of code. Yes, and so it's an attractive, simple template mm -hmm. that allows you to share information. And I can really see this as um, sending stuff. This could be a presentation for a corporate, you know, a corporate client. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, something that you're using for e-learning. It could mm -hmm. be done just for uh, inner office kind mm -hmm. of stuff. It's just, it's just got a lot of functionality for people who don't want to do all that coding. Right. Fantastic. Right. Where can people find more of this? Well, you can always get more of this at padalicious.com. That's P A D I C I L I. I mean, P A D I L I C I O U S dot com. Padalicious. <laughs> and uh, we have, uh, there's different ones. We have the single page web app, and then we have that. You can download the demo right. file with the pictures, try it yourself. It works from the desktop or within Aperture or iPhoto, right. and you can just start using this right today. Fantastic. Thanks, Al. Thank you. And thank you for watching Mac Break Dev.